Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today I'm going to show you all the ColourPop pressed eyeshadows that I picked up. I went on the website the day they launched and I ordered 18 shades. So I'm going to give you the rundown on these eyeshadows and I'm also going to swatch all 18 shades for you. First things first, there are two pre-made palettes available. Technically there's three if you count the Amanda Steele Weekend Warrior palette. But I actually don't have that one. I have the other two that launched when the singles launched. These palettes are called Low Key and High Maintenance. They come with a little sleeve that the palette slides out of. And on the back of the sleeve, it has all the shade names. I do wish that the shade names were inside the palette, but... They are on the backs of all the shadows, which you can pop out of the palette, which is really nice if you want to just store them in a big Z palette or another magnetic palette. So this is what the palette looks like, and it's cardboard, it opens up like this, there is no mirror. And as you can see, you can remove these shadows, they just pop right out of this little placeholder. I think the palettes are cute. They're really pretty. They have these silver stars on them. They are very bulky. Um, you can take the little insert out, which I did on my third palette. I'll show that to you here in a minute. But the palettes retail for $18. It is a good deal because if you buy the shades as singles, they're $5 each. And the shades in the palettes are also available as singles. So if you just like one or two of them, you can always pick those up separately. When you order the single shadows, they come in this little sleeve. Pretty standard. Cute little stars on it. At the time that I ordered, they had a deal going that if you ordered four single shadows, you would get one of these palettes free with your order. So I took advantage of that. I don't believe that's going on anymore. When I got my palette, I took the insert out. As you can see, you can fit a lot more shadows in there. I saw my friend Paige Bake and Glow on Instagram do this. She did a little video showing how she took out her insert and I thought that was so cool. It's very useful. It makes this kind of bulky palette a lot more effective in my opinion. So that was super easy to do and I really like the way these are stored now. These are the single shades that I picked up. These are not part of any palette or any collection, at least not yet, but you know ColourPop, they're always dropping new little bundles on us, so who knows, maybe. Okay, we're gonna get into the fun part now, the swatches. As always, I'm gonna do a finger swatch and a brush swatch. For the brush swatch, I'm just using my little e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, and I'll use my Vera Mona color switch in between each shade to clean off my brush. I also want to show you the shimmer shades foiled. So I'm going to use some MAC Fix Plus and there will be a third swatch for the metallic and shimmer shades. I'm going to go ahead and start with the palettes first and I'll put the name of the shade up at the bottom of the screen for every shade that I swatch that way you'll know what you're looking at. This is the shade Take It Slow from the Low Key palette. This is a finger swatch, brush swatch, and foiled swatch. This is the shade Running Late, finger swatched and brush swatched. I think that these look really, really different in person. The finger swatch just looks so much more orange and the brush swatch looks more yellow. This is the shade I owe you, finger swatch and brush swatch. I think this is one of my favorite shades that I have. This is the last shade from the Low Key palette. It's called Crisscross. Here's the finger swatch and the brush swatch. Again, it looks much darker with the finger swatch. Really pretty both ways though, if you ask me. Now we're jumping into the High Maintenance palette. This is the shade Just In Time. Here's a finger swatch, brush swatch, and then a foiled swatch. Look how pretty that looks with some Fix Plus. This is the shade High Strung, finger swatch, brush swatch, and foiled. This is another one of my favorites. Just look at that. Ugh, so pretty. 
This is the shade Get Out. Finger swatch and brush swatch. And you can see the brush swatch is a little bit patchy. I do find that with some of the darker mattes. This is the last shade from the High Maintenance palette. It's called Cute Alert. And it's one of those brownish purples that I really like. Here's the finger swatch and the brush swatch. You can see both swatches. It's a little bit patchy. I do think that this is one of the kind of disappointing shades of the bunch. Now we're moving into my custom palette that I made. The first shade is probably my favorite of all of the ones that I have. This is called Come and Get It. It's a pink and gold duochrome. This is the finger swatch, brush swatch, and then a foiled swatch. I mean, come on, look at that. It's even prettier in person, I'm telling you. Okay, I had to show this to you guys. This is what was left behind from the foiled swatch from Come and Get It when I wiped it with a makeup wipe. Look, it's like a pink stain. I was not expecting that. It didn't happen with either of the other two, so just beware. If you foil this shadow, you may get a little stain left behind. Still totally worth it though, in my opinion. <laughs> this shade is called Wait For It. This is another one of my favorites. This is a finger swatch and this is a brush swatch. And this is a stain from a previous shadow. I think this one goes on so nicely with a brush. I just really, really like this one. This one's called Making Moves. Finger swatch and brush swatch. Again, this one applies really nicely with a brush. This coppery color is called Millie. I do think that this might be limited edition. I know that it was released after ColourPop hit 1 million followers on Facebook, I believe. So I'm not sure if this one's still available or not, but I will link all the products that are still available down below in the description box. So here's the finger swatch, brush swatch, which does not do this shade justice. And the foiled swatch, again, is just an absolute showstopper. This one's called Stay Golden. Finger and brush swatch. This really cool mustard shade is called Paper Tiger. Finger and brush swatch. And I really like the brush swatch on this one. I think it applies really nicely with a brush and it applies great to the eyes as well. This is the shade Bel Air, and it's a really perfect transition shade. In my opinion, it's just a nice medium neutral brown. Finger swatch and brush swatch, of course. I do think this applies really nicely to the eye with a brush. This is probably the least exciting shade that I'll show you today, but this one will probably get the most use out of all of them. This shade is called Backseat, and I'm not a blue girl at all, usually, but this shade is really cool. Look how versatile this one shadow is. The finger swatch is a nice kind of medium intensity blue. If you wanted just a sheer wash, you could apply it with a brush, and I think this would look great just kind of swept over like a gray matte shadow. And if you really want to go for it, you can foil it and look at this really intense, shiny blue. I Something about this is just very exciting to me. I think that this shadow is surprising. It's really versatile. And I really want to get some use out of this. Like I said, I'm not usually a blue girl, but I find this shade backseat really exciting. This dusty lavender shade is called Silver Lining. Here's the finger swatch and brush swatch. And I gotta say, this is a beautiful color, but I actually prefer the way it applies with a brush. I just think it's really wearable and definitely a different kind of color than what I usually go for, but I really like it. This is the last shade that I have. It's called Goody Two Shoes, and it's a very cool silver finger swatch brush swatch and foiled swatch. Again, a super versatile shadow. It can look really different depending on how you apply it. And 
Another surprise favorite for me because this kind of silvery gunmetal type of shade is not one that I usually go for, but I think this is really beautiful. Overall, I think these shadows are really nice. I think they're great for $5. I do find that the shimmer and metallic shades are more impressive to me, although there are a few matte shades that I really, really enjoy. Overall, the matte formula doesn't really seem to be anything too special to me, but there are some really special shades. So Paper Tiger, which is that mustardy shade, the bright kind of peachy melon shade called Wait For It, and the dusty lavender shade called Silver Lining. I think those are all really particularly special shades. They're definitely unique in my collection, which is saying something because I have entirely too much eyeshadow, but I do enjoy these overall. I've only worn them a few times. I'm actually wearing some of the shadows on my eyes today, and I did film a tutorial for this look, so if you want to see that, just stick around until next week and I'll post an eye look using some of these shades. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Leave a comment, let us know if you plan on ordering any of these, if you have them, what shades are your favorite, is there a must-have shade that I'm missing from my collection that I need to add, let me know. I always love your suggestions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. That light. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. Okay, calm down. It's too much. <clears throat> okay, let's talk about stuff. That's why we're all here. <laughs> Is my highlight looking good? It's gonna be a good day if you have a good highlight. Let's get started. You're weird. Shema. Give me the shema. Come on, color switch. I have eyeshadow all over my clothes at this point. Sage, don't bark at the mailman. I had some coffee. I said all the time. <laughs>